Meet the fighter, Joshua the Gorilla Gustav. I got into boxing about 14, 15. Um, went down my amateur boxing club. I didn't have my first amateur bout till I was about 16. Yeah, about 16 years old. There's a number of reasons why I started boxing. Um, I think my brother done a bit of boxing training down the gym, but I didn't go with the time he was going. Um, but I always used to pick him up and he always used to see like the sweat on the windows and I used to peek my head through and see everyone boxing and that. Um, and then yeah, I plucked up the courage one time to go down the gym. Had a couple of sessions, started in a beginner's class, I really liked it. And after that I just kept on going, kept on going. Obviously I had a bit of sparring and that I used to get beaten up in sparring so that I had a bit of an ego back then so I always wanted to go back and prove myself. And I just, I, I loved it. Just went, went down the gym after school and um, yeah, the rest is history. Um, my older brother done a bit of training down the amateur gym that I trained at for about a year. He didn't have any fights or anything, but he trained for, yeah, about a year. And then he does a bit of training here, but as far as I'm aware, um, I'm the first professional boxer in my family. When I was 16, my ambition developed from then when I started competing as an amateur. Um, I started having visions of me turning pro, um, making this what I do for a living. Started taking it seriously from then. Um, but yeah, that's around the age I started competing is when I started having um, ambitions of becoming professional. Um, I had a good amateur career. Um, I had 35 amateur fights, I won 23 of them. I won the London, London title about four times. Um, got to the NAGBC final. Um, boxed in the box cup a couple times. And yeah, I had a decent amateur career. My favourite thing about amateur boxing was the uni unity in the gym. The relationship I had with my amateur coaches um, the love I felt in the gym and just coming home coming home or going straight to the gym from uh, school having a having a blast in the gym an hour hour and a half and just feeling good about myself I made the decision to go pro about 18 I was looking to go pro and then obviously I'd, I had to learn a few things and um, navigate my way around how to do it but yeah around 18 I wanted to go pro because my, my amateur style as well was a bit was a bit more suited to the pros. My amateur gym was Fairburn um, in Ilford. They're not there no more, but yeah, it was Fairburn, BC, in Ilford where I grew up. Yeah, about a stone throw from my house, about 10 minutes. I used to cycle to the gym, or I used to walk. My professional coach now is uh, Paul Kavanagh. I'm training out of Elite Commando Fitness. It's based in Upminster. Uh, we met at the beginning of the pandemic. We just recently had our first professional fight on the Steve Goodwin show. That's who I'm managed by and promoted by. It was against a tough opponent. He's had about 98 fights, only been stopped once. Me, me and Paul went in there with a game plan and executed it perfectly. And um, yeah, we're looking to push on now, not hang around. My short-term goal is to go the traditional route, get my hands on a British title, and then move on to world honours. My training regime while I'm in camp uh, consists of training twi twice or three times a day. I've got a good relationship with my, my coach, so we train Monday to Sunday. When my body needs a rest, I'll take it. Other than that, I'm in the gym, down the gym pretty much every day. Other than that, now that I'm out of camp, I'll be taking over because gym's my life, so I'll be training once a day, twice a day, sometimes, and just living in the gym. What would it mean to me to become world champion? Um, it'd mean the most to me. Um, putting, just to know that all the hard work and all the sacrifices that I've done over the years. I don't have any role models, but I do have people that inspire me of what they've done, or their mindset. And I like to take away things from each individual. Um, inside boxing, Obviously, I used to look, look, look a lot into like your Mike Tysons, your Robert, Roberto Durant, um, your Nigel Benz, your 
Gerald McLennan's fighters like that. Um, that's what I like to base my style around. How do I deal with pre-fight nerves? It's all in the mind, it's all in the mind. You could either be nervous or you can be excited. When you're nervous or excited, it's the same feeling, you get the same feeling in your belly, you get sweat, you get clammy hands. So if you rewire your brain, pick which one. One's positive, one's negative, so I'll go with the positive one. Where do I live? I live in Ilford. Well, I grew up in Ilford. I've lived there for 23 years. Um, I, had a good, I had a good upbringing, grateful. Um, I grew up in a single parent household with me and my, my siblings. Now that I'm training full time, I'm fortunate to have a team of sponsors backing me on my journey to the top. Them being the Steel Team, Essex Pitch, CSM Agency, Destined for Greatness, and Fight Poster. Boxing is my full time profession now. I'm in the gym every day, working towards the end goal. Previously, before that um, training, I'd done a bit of civil engineering. Done that for a couple of months, but I just realised it weren't for me and my heart was set on boxing. So um, I made the decision, I sat down with my coach and my family, I made the decision to um, take on boxing full time, put my heart into it. Because I'm a big believer in all or nothing as well. So I want to put my all into this sport and hopefully reap the benefits in the, in the future.